Dr. Seward here again with another announcement. As you probably know, between my line of work and my own identity, sexuality and mental health are subjects I care very much about. That is why I've decided to partner with the charity Mind Out to help more LGBTQ people get the support they need. Stay tuned at the end of this episode to hear more about what they do and how you can help. Welcome to Murray Mysteries. Friends, after last time I thought it might be a good idea to... Well, I thought you deserved to be kept up to date as much as we do. You've been in this with us for a long time, and I know you all care about Lucy. Art has been reading all of your comments out to her while she was in the hospital. They say it's brought them both a lot of joy in a difficult time. So thank you. For being there, for caring about people you've never even met. Thank you. <clears throat> right, news. Well... Lucy's out of the hospital. She got a transfusion and showed significant signs of improvement in the following hours, so they kept her in observation for two nights, then sent us all home with instructions to keep monitoring the situation. Art and I have been taking turns staying up to watch over her. She's supposed to rest, but she's clearly been trying to stay awake. When I asked her why, she said she was afraid to sleep. Said she has a bad feeling something's going to happen to her if she does. I had to promise I would be there the whole time and would wake her up if anything happened or if I could see she was having a nightmare. That seemed to do the trick. She slept for 12 hours and woke up looking a lot better. We don't want to get our hopes up. She's had improvements and relapses before, but things are looking promising. Art said the second night went well too. I was supposed to get some rest before my next watch, but I had a backlog of paperwork to take care of and only managed to clear it around four in the morning. When I got to Lucy's last night, she refused to let me stay up with her, said I could sleep on the living room sofa and she would call out if she needed anything. I wouldn't normally do this, but I was so tired and, well, she insisted. I woke up about half an hour ago, but it's still early, so I thought I'd let her sleep in a bit more before checking in. I should make some coffee, if I could find out how to operate this coffee machine. Which one of these buttons am I supposed to press? What's wrong with a simple coffee maker? Jesus, Seward. Remind me how many degrees you have. Professor, I was just... Waging war on the coffee machine? It's more like a short battle that I am losing. Good thing I thought ahead. You have no idea how grateful I am. It's from that place down the road. Lovely storefront. Excellent service. (sighs) Excellent coffee. Glad you're enjoying it. How's our patient? Good. Last time I saw her, I was just about to check in on her, actually. Impeccable timing, as always. Shall we? Lucy? Dear God! What's going on? Is she okay? White as a sheet, cold skin. She's breathing, but barely. This isn't good. Should I call an ambulance? Not yet. I've got this. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Just... That's it. That'll make it better. Give it a minute to act. Good. Warming up. Is there anything I can do? Not right now. Just... Stay close. Okay. Okay. Her breathing is back to normal. Body temperature is getting there. We should see some color in a minute or two. Good. That's really good. It's a good thing we got here when we did. A few more minutes and it could have been too late. Oh, God. It's my fault, isn't it? I should never have left her. I should have stayed up and... Hey. Hey. None of that. Dwelling on past mistakes will do nothing but waste your time. All we can do now is make sure it doesn't happen again. Shouldn't we take her back to the hospital? They might know what to do. 
Did they seem like they knew last time? No. She won't be any safer at the hospital. At least here, I can test my theory. Might I ask, what theory? Not just now. You'll have to trust me until I have enough data to confirm it. Can you look after Lucy while I get supplies? I... yeah. I can do that. Thank you. I'll make it fast. <sighs> this is going to take years off my life expectancy. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're doing it for attention. Rude. Lucy, you're awake! Are you feeling okay? No, what am I saying? Of course you're not. You're just... How are you feeling? Like I've been run over by a bus. <laughs> Thanks very much. What happened? You had a relapse. Van Helsing took care of it, but it was... not good. <laughs> eh, what else is new? Did you at least get some sleep? Yes, unfortunately. <sighs> now, now, you needed it. I can't believe you have to be coerced to take care of yourself. I should find your girlfriend to make sure you eat and sleep and other healthy things. Lucy, that's not... I... I don't need... I'm not ready to date anyone. Not yet. That is what you think. But if I put my matchmaking powers to work... No. Fine. Have it your way. But do stop sulking, please. I'm not dead yet. Is that coffee? You can have it. Adrenaline woke me up just fine. Sweet. Oh, damn, that's good coffee. Right? Where's Van Helsing? <laughs> I should probably thank her for saving my life or something. Out getting some mysterious supplies, mysteriously. <laughs> She should be back any minute. Speaking of the cryptic devil... Ah, oh, Miss Wistenra. Glad to see you up. All thanks to you, I heard. Thank you for that. Don't mention it. Now, who's going to help me spruce up this room? Spruce up? What's that smell? Is that garlic? I read... Garlic wreaths were the new flower wreaths. Very fashionable. Let's see. One on your windowsill. Wonderful. Really brings the room to life. One around your neck, of course. Always accessorize. What's happening? I have no idea. She gets like that sometimes, and I think we should just go with it. Okay. Do you know how many medicinal properties garlic has? It's already delicious, doesn't need to do any more for the human race, and yet... <laughs> wonderful thing, garlic. Jane, will you help me put this up over the door? I... sure... How do you want it? Just like this. Hold it there. <laughs> Murray Mysteries is a Nove storytelling production. This episode was written and produced by May Tudick and featured Bevan Tankard as Dr. Jane Seward, Rebecca Kraus as Professor Van Helsing, and Megan John as Lucy Westenra. Original music by Sophie Kay. If you like our work and would like to support us, you can sign up for our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash no storytelling or follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Tumblr. Thank you for listening. Now, as Dr. Seward promised at the start of the episode, I'm here to tell you more about our work with MindOut. MindOut is a UK-based charity aiming to provide mental health support to LGBTQ plus people who are disproportionately affected by mental illness and often unable to afford private help. In honour of the UK LGBT History Month in February, we released a small range of pride-themed merchandise and decided to donate all proceeds from the sales of the designs to Mind Out. If you would like to help this charity continue to do its amazing work, you can purchase the Pride merch on our Redbubble page or donate directly to Mind Out. All the links will be in the episode's description. If you think you might benefit from Mind Out's support, 
Listen up to find out how you can access their online services. MindOut's online chat service is here for you during lockdown. Feeling low or anxious? Feeling lonely? Feeling suicidal? And want someone to talk to who is LGBTQ? Our fully trained volunteers are available via the chat bubble on our website, www.mindout.org.uk. We are the LGBTQ mental health charity. Let us mind out for you.